I must first note that indeed the cabinet secretary did forward an accompanying letter to cover the memorandum for that the omission that the Honorable Minority Leader speaks of would not have occurred. If, that, if it was not circulated, then pardon the oversight. Mr. Speaker, I take note of the concerns and comments that have been shared and wish to state the following. That indeed the Renewable Energy Act is due for a major review so that the developments that have overtaken the Act and in particular the availability of renewable energy on the national grid through a reverse metering can be included in the Act. Mr. Speaker, we live in a region of comparative resource advantage and therefore we have to take full due of what the good Lord has given us. And in so doing and in so saying, I wish to inform the House of where we are and where we intend to go with respect to our renewable energy goals and policy. It is the policy of the NPP government that all our hydro resources will now be turned to hybrid facilities. In that respect, Bui Dam has already started converting to a combination of solar and hydro to evacuate 250 megawatts onto the national grid. The main Akosombo Dam is expected to house a solar facility of 500 megawatts and the Pound Dam similarly will host a facility of 100 mega megawatts. Indeed, VRA is designated to be the lead on the expansion of solar facilities in the country. We also intend to make all the public tertiary institutions a combination of utilities and renewables. And in that wise, a pilot program has already started in the University of Ghana, Legon to combine solar, waste, biomass with the utility. Therefore, I made a commitment when I first appeared in this house that this building of parliament will be headed for solar. In that wise, we've already started taking the power profile of all your facilities in order to make sure that early next year, House of Parliament will begin to enjoy solar as a major component of its power supply. So will be the Flagstaff House, and so will be all the 36,000 junior high schools and 681 senior high school facilities. But all of this will be pro promoted through the private investment space. And that is how come, and that is how come, Mr. Speaker, joining this alliance, and that is how come, and that is how come, and that is how come, and that is how come joining this alliance becomes very important. I also wish to assure the House that as soon as this is ratified, as soon as this is ratified, we will work with the Indian government to make sure 
that we access our fair share of the $2 billion credit facility that is on the table. 